O news coming in, speaking at the 19th Asian Conference on Combating Terrorism, Defense Minister Manohar Parikar and Afghanistan's National Security Advisor called on Pakistan-sponsored terrorism and raised concerns over use of high-end technology for terrorism. Afghanistan NSA asserted that both India and Afghanistan have a common enemy and there was a need to defeat terrorism. In armed conflict in Afghanistan, Iraq, Nigeria, South Sudan, Syria, Yemen and elsewhere, combatants are defying humanity's most fundamental norms. Some 60 million people, the highest number after World War, have been replaced and have become impacted by the conflict and violence. The report ends on a bleak note. In the face of blatant inhumanity, the world has responded with disturbing paralysis. Given its ability to impede social economic progress, terrorism is undoubtedly the single biggest threat to international peace and security. While the threat is transnational, the response does not appear to be coordinated. Even though there is a broad conscious on what constitutes an act of terror, a formal agreement is missing. Shrinjai Chaudhary, National Affairs Editor, is with us for more on that. Shrinjai, the statement, the joint statement essentially coming in uh, from both these leaders, not surprising, also underlining the kind of relationship, the great relationship that India and Afghanistan share. Well, absolutely. Manohar Parikar made it very clear, as did the Afghan National Security Advisor, uh, Hanif, Muhammad Hanif, that, well, the actual epicenter of terror is actually Pakistan. Both have said in their own ways that the terror training camps have to close down. Both have said that levels of violence inside India and Afghanistan, respectively, have come from Pakistan. So there is absolutely no doubt that both India and Afghanistan also are, are suffering are really victims of terrorism. And that is a phrase that Manohar Parikar has used in the past and today, that the problem of terrorism is largely because of Pakistan, perhaps only because of Pakistan. And many observers have rightly pointed out that if the problem in Pakistan is sorted out, there would be very few problems in India and perhaps even fewer in Afghanistan. That's right. Afghan is also asserting that both India and Afghanistan have a common enemy, which is Pakistan, and that it needs to be defeated. Shrinjai, for the moment, thanks for getting us all of those details. Let's listen in to Defense Minister Manohar Parikar. A successful combat against terrorism requires a holistic approach, tackling terror finance and countering the misuse of the Internet through social media by terrorist, terrorist entities have become the most important step in this process. It is instructive that most of the attacks carried out in the name of Islamic State over the last two years have been executed by groups or persons who had no direct contact with them. According to the Global Terrorism Index, which provides a comprehensive annual summary of the key global trends in terrorism, this fact has been highlighted. A global response to terrorism can only emerge if there is a regional uh, consensus on issues affecting the countries involved. The role of Asia in the process here is central.